Step number four, volatility. So volatility of a stock is a measurement of the change in the variance of a stock over a specific period of time. So it's not the mean values or the difference, absolute difference, but a variance in the returns of a stock over a specific period of time. Higher the volatility, higher is the risk involved in investing in that particular stock. So if it's more volatile, that is you can either gain more or lose more. So there is a higher level of risk involved. So let's see in uh, Python how this looks like and how it can be calculated and visualized. So now let's calculate the volatility of stocks in terms of their variance. For that, I have taken the daily percentage change for the stock of IBM and then I am applying this method rolling in order to get the variance. So what I am doing is from the standard uh, deviation of this rolling minimum periods, I am multiplying with numpy dot square root of minimum periods. So this way I am getting the variance of these daily percentage values and I'm filling the null values with zero and I'm keeping it in place equals to true and storing all this in the variable VON. Now my minimum periods is 75. Okay. So let's see how this look how our data looks like. So this is the variance. So it's jumped up around 0.12 8, 0 0.125, 0 0.126. So you can see that IBM's uh, stocks are less volatile because this is how it's looking. So we'll analyze with respect to other stocks. So let's plot it up using simple wall dot plot because so this is how it's look. It looks like so. This is the volatility. As we can see over here and now rolling means when we are rolling means instead of variance will give us trends and seasonality so remember it uh, hides the short-term fluctuations and let us see the long-term trends so mean does that while variance can give you a better picture of volatility so now I'm again passing in the function rolling to my IBM adjacent close variable and I'm taking the window to be 40 and in terms of mean I want to see the trends and seasonality so this thing over here will give me a short term moving window so I'm keeping my window to be 40 now over here this is a long term window I'm keeping the window to be 252 so you can adjust the window values on your own. So this is going to give me, suppose, a uh, monthly or a quarterly uh, trend. And this one is going to give me an yearly trend and so on, depending upon your window. So now let's plot the adjusted closing price, okay, along with the short and the long windows of the rolling means. All right. And I've done the same with NVIDIA. So let's analyze these two graphs together. So you can see IBM and NVIDIA. So uh, this thing over here, blue line, is the adjusted close value. So 42, which is the short term window, is more or less showing the monthly discrepancy. If you have to invest in this stock, on a monthly or a quarterly basis then follow this trend this is the trend but if you have to invest in it long term then this is the long term trend okay so IBM was high from 2012 till 2013 then it saw a fall and so on so you can invest uh, your long term stocks into IBM for like one year or two years and they remain stable they are on a rise but then uh, so this is the trend that you can see the trend as well as the seasonality so the short window shows the trend and the longer window is showing the seasonality for Nvidia it was a steep rise uh, from 2017 onwards 
and then it has uh, seen also a short decline in 2019. So you can try it out uh, on your own and I have done this like uh, taken just one graph and plotted the IBM and the NVIDIA's values together uh, so more closely for the year 2019. So this has been the uh, short window trend and this has been the long window seasonality for IBM and for NVIDIA we are seeing a steep um, decrease with respect to long term uh, investment and this is the short term rolling mean window over here or trend over here so this is how you can analyze the stock data and decide whether to invest in those stocks or not whether they are giving you profits or not whether they are more volatile or less volatile and uh, this is how uh, companies and individuals uh, using these kind of analysis invest into stocks for a long term or a short term or not at all so you can have this code over here i've given the link in the description below and if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Also comment on it, share it, review it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So this is all and thank you for watching.